Hello, and welcome again to Story Time. This Story Time with Pastor Depp in the Garden is entitled The Throne, the Symbol of the Heart of the King. Hello, and welcome again to Story Time in the Garden. This is Pastor Deborah, and everyone take your seat. Open your heart to hear the words of spirit and life. Everyone gather around. Wilbur, is everyone here? Not yet, Pastor. More are coming into the garden even now. Okay, we will wait for them to get here. As they come, living creatures, help them to find a seat and sit with them. Pastor, yes, Wilbur, what story are you going to tell us today? The continuation of the throne series. This story is called The Throne, The Heart of the king. Does anyone remember what the last story was? We started learning about the throne of the one. Yes, that is correct. It was a good story, Pastor. We learned so very much. That is good. Now we're going to learn more about the throne, the symbol of the heart of the king. Everybody ready? We are, Pastor. Okay. The throne, the symbol of the heart of of the king, the seat of remembrance from out of the ancient books of the library of eternity. The throne, the symbol of the heart of the king, the king of creation. The throne, the seat of the great light of spirit and life. The throne, the heart of the songs of the flowers of the garden of agape love. The throne. The heart of the rivers of life, peace, and joy. The throne, a strong and mighty fortress, a solid rock, a tall tower of refuge. The throne, a strong shield of protection for the weary ones, the captives and prisoners, the tired and broken hearted. The throne, the heart of the fire of the heart of the king, the holy and righteous purposes, and desires for all of life. The throne, place of decrees, prophecies, law, justice, and anointing. The throne, the mighty sanctuary of the king's glorious presence. The throne, the seat of the banner of the kingdom of agape love that flies high over the land of its domain. The throne, Raised high above all the heavens, high above all that is and that will be. The throne, the symbol, very heart and mind of the great creator himself. The throne, the symbol of the deep thoughts of the king of the kingdom of heaven. The throne, the very heart of the king's concepts, precepts, wisdom, understanding. Knowledge and all the righteous ways of life, spirit, the throne, the seat of great joy, rejoicing and blessings, the throne, the seat that receives all glory, praise and honor from all of creation, the living creatures of the garden, the singing flowers of the garden, the families of life. And the children, the bluebirds of the garden, humanity and its seeds of life for all of time, the hosts, the armies of heaven, the ministering angels of the Lord, the most high king, the throne, symbol of the family of the king, the father and mother of life itself, the throne, the great path of protection, the mighty wings of eagles, the throne, the symbol of the heart of agape love itself, spreading its arms over all the kingdom, the throne, the heart of songs of agape love, sung through the creatures of the garden, even the flowers, the throne, the royal seat of the altar of grace, and the meeting place with the king of glory, the throne. The place of the scepter, the symbol of the right of rulership 
by the law of creation, the throne, the seat of the oil of anointing, deliverance, healing, blessings, the throne, the seat, the center of the great kingdom, the highest kingdom, the city of spirit and life, the throne, the great seat of the trumpets of praise and glory of the mighty king of the highest kingdom, the throne, the center of the stones of fire, sacrifices and justice, the throne, the seat of great worship and praise by all creations, great and small, the throne, the symbol of the heart of the creator, the king of all eternity, the king of his domain, established from before time and eternity began from the ancient of days, the throne, the symbol of the heart of the creator, the source of all life itself, the throne, the great and mighty symbol of the eternal kingdom, the righteous kingdom, and the kingdom of agape love, joy, and peace founded on the heart of agape love itself, the throne, the heart of the one. Now, everyone, The story has ended. Next story time, and for many to come, I will go into more depth of each one of these attributes, natures, essences, character, image, all that the throne is established to symbol, to symbolize, and represent to all of creation. Does anyone have any questions? Shepherd, shepherd. Yes, little one. Is all this true? Yes, little one. All is true. Pastor? Yes, little one. If this is all true, how come I haven't known this? I didn't know any of this was true. Well, little one, you were not taught these truths or had them spiritually revealed to you. The forever you, the spiritual you. This throne is really big, isn't it? Yes, little one. It is. Is his throne here in the garden? No, little one. It's high above us. Can we go there? Like a field trip? Yes, we can. How? You see that light over there? Just walk towards it and step into its light and you will be there. You mean there? The throne? Yes. Will you go with us as a guide and teacher? Yes. And all who want to take a field trip to the throne of the kingdom of life that we have just heard about in this story time are welcome to come with me. Class is dismissed. Anyone wanting to go to the throne, follow me to the light over there. Then after this visit, you will be returned to your earthly body on the planet called Earth. Shepherd? Yes, little one. Do you go to other planets? Yes, I do. The vastness of the kingdom is beyond our limited knowledge, and it reaches out to all of everywhere. I travel much for the king, and yes, to other planets, to other solar systems, to other places that have not even been discovered by earthly scientists yet. The vastness of the kingdom is far and wide. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. See everyone next time. For those who are going on the field trip, walk this way with me. Pastor Jeff.